to supercharge the rest of your 2017? If so, stay tuned. I have six mojo moves for you to get started. Be right back. Sullivan, the Mojo Maker, back again with another hot Mojo tip. Today we're talking about supercharging the rest of your 2017, and I've got six major Mojo moves for you, okay? The first one is simply the side, but I'm not just talking about just choosing something out of the ethers. I'm talking about diving deep and pulling up that thing that you've been hiding from yourself for so long, because if you choose that and decide to choose that, that is chock full of passion. That's the thing that's going to keep you going when things get tough. You want to be able to work on these things that give you that passion, that mojo power you're going to need to fuel you through the tough times all the way to the end. So the first thing you need to do is decide. That's your first major mojo move. The second thing is to have supercharged gratitude. Again, you've heard about gratitude, being grateful. You know, there's stories, there's books, there's courses, there's so many things around gratitude. I'm talking about miracle producing gratitude. Even when things aren't going right, we tend to only focus on all the wonderful things that happen to us. Yes, be grateful for that. But I'm also talking about the type of gratitude that means you're happy just to be alive. You're happy for the lessons that life brings you in all shapes and forms and even through various experiences with people that you may not like but is the thing that you needed to get to that next place and that next level. So be grateful for everything and a powerful gratitude that you keep going all day long. Not for when things happen but before things happen. Know that they're happening for you and be grateful for their manifestation in your life, okay? The third mojo move to supercharge your 2017 is give. There is a law of giving and receiving, and a lot of people are waiting to receive before they can give. When I get some money, I'll give. When I have more time, I'll give more time. No, you have to give those things before you receive. The universe loves a cheerful giver, so give. Giving is a powerful elixir for manifestation. Find ways to give of your time, energy, resources, love, all of that, okay? You don't have to give all your stuff away. You don't have to give all of your resources away. But find people that need a left, a leg up or a hand in something. Help people get what they're looking for, whether it's through information, whether it's through contacts, whether it's through a great idea, or maybe just give somebody a little bit of your attention and time because they're not having a good time or good experience. So be a cheerful giver. Go find someone to give today. Believe me, it's not just for their good. It's also for your good because you feel great when you're in a position to give, okay? So that's number three. Number four is find influencers. Find people in your genre and outside of your genre, the peripheral of your genre, that are big time influencers and get around these people. Find these people. They, they feed you with their energy. They feed you with their insights and ideas. They just feed you with um, what's the next logical step for you as you're building your own business. Influencers are also happy to give back because they know what a rocky road it was for them to build their dream and are also always looking for people who deserve to hear the information. I use the word deserve. Not everybody deserves the information. Okay, so be a person that's deserving. Um, you'll figure out what I mean by that as we go along in this in these series. But be somebody that deserves to be around influencers and to be filled up with the information that these influencers have to share. Okay, now number six. It's an important one. Number six is about getting the mentors that are going to fill you up and fuel you forward into your definition of success. What information are you still missing? You know, there's so much. It's not just about the hands-on technical aspects of the business that you're in. It's also about the mind setting. And sometimes as you go to the next level life design and things, the mind setting is that piece that either will 
move you forward or keep you stuck. Many people are stuck because even though as smart as they are, they don't have that particular mindset that produces the manifestation that they need to move to the next level. For instance, you know, if you're tracking to the next level in your life design, and suppose it's one a place that you're going that scares the heck out of you and you have to really pull hard and climb onto the next ledge of this place to get the view and to get the next leg up so you're standing tall and in position and in that place. You will need a mentor that's going to be able to talk you up. All the best people on the planet have mentors and coaches. Look at Tiger Woods. His coach does not really play golf the way he plays golf, but he's there every step of the way, every hole, every every moment he's there with him, telling him and giving him the view that Tiger Woods does not have. Same with all the great basketball players and football players and, and anybody of note on this planet has a coach, whether it's a, um, uh, a sporting coach, a business coach, whatever coach, they have a coach or mentor that helps move them along because I don't know about you, I tend to get stuck in my head sometimes, so I need someone to pull me out into the next place. Okay, so find a mentor. So give your way to success to supercharge your way. Go and find people of influence around you that you that you can help, uh, they can help fuel you to the next place that you need to go. All right, find great mentors that can fill you up with the mindset that you need to go into your next level success. Okay, gratitude, gratitude. I can't talk enough about gratitude. Gratitude produces miracles, okay? And just pull yourself into scarier situations and scarier places that will get the job done. Do not settle for mediocrity. Pull yourself up into scarier situations. I think that was number six. But pull yourself up into scarier situations. Even if scarier just simply means starting your own YouTube channel and talking to the camera and sharing your wisdom to the masses. This is pretty scary some days when you don't know what to say or how to say it or are you going to look goofy or you're not going to look goofy. It doesn't matter. Find things that scare you. That's the essence and elixir of life. If you're too complacent because you know what you're doing and you've been doing it for years, you're not growing. And if you're not growing, to me, you're dying. Okay? So, to me, complacency causes casualties. So stop being complacent in your life. Stop complaining about it. Get up, shake yourself off, and move. Everything is a lesson. Everything is a blessing. Everything is designed for your glory and for your growth. So dive in. If it's something that makes you fall down, learn from it. What happened? Okay, so it won't happen again. If you can't figure it out, find a mentor that can help explain things to you. But use your time, your life, and your life force and your energy. It's yours for a short time and then it's gone. Don't sit around complaining, okay? You have how many months? About seven, uh, not seven, about six, yeah, it's about seven more months until the end of the year. Lots of time to supercharge your way to your success, all right? So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I also have a free gift down here for you with these seven potent power strategies to help catapult you past the crowd. And again, you can always find me on my website at PamelaSylvan.com. So thanks again for hanging out for another hot Moto tip, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.